are the Prepper Broadcasting Network. Hello everyone out there in internet radio land. This is Dave Jones, the NBC guy. How are you doing on this Friday? Friday, you made it through another week. Another week. Ah, oh, man, I used to work and know what that meant. <laughs> uh, but, yeah... Oh, so I'm heading in town. I got some uh, appointments, uh, blood work, all, you know, standard stuff. But uh, it was interesting. Uh, Well, let me first tell you, Carl B is going to be on today. And boy, you don't want to miss his show. Okay? Yeah, Carl B is going to be talking about EMP. And... uh, Everything that goes along with that. How about that? <laughs> hey, did you hear uh, Tim's show last night? Wow. Wow. I just have to say, that show was awesome. It was like candy to my ears. Okay? Uh, he he went into some great historical uh, references of preppers, and I thought it was fantastic. Um you have got to listen to Tool Man Tim uh, show last night. Uh, it and it brought back a lot of memories, a lot of memories because uh, <clears throat> I lived a lot of history. <laughs> I was in first grade when the Cuban Missile Crisis was going on, and I remember the teacher showing us on the map where Cuba was, and. Uh, and showing us where we were in Pennsylvania. And then I pointed out how close Florida was to Cuba, and she said, that's right. (laughs) Yeah. So that's how far I go back. Anyway, uh, two great shows. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any Believe the Hype this week, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, Those ladies... Uh, I can't wait to hear what's going on in Europe and and the tax that you, you get you get charged a tax to go into the city. Well, great. I'll just stay out of the city. I bet the business owners like that. I bet the restaurant owners and business owners, you know, that purposely have businesses in cities uh, really like that. So, um, what's going on in East Palestine? Oh, boy. Well, apparently FEMA's not showing up. Not showing up. Uh, I, I don't understand this government. This government is, like, out of control. I even saw an article today that said that Marines, some Marines, stopped the FBI from sabotaging a substation. I mean, what is going on with our our government, our everything? If you don't think East Palestine is a disaster, uh, yeah, apparently they're not getting any kind of federal uh, disaster relief, which I don't even think that's, you know, I've, I've been in that situation, okay? I've been at state-level emergency management, and <clears throat> the, do- the governor declares a state of emergency, and the Stafford Act uh, opens up the funds, and it's all about that declaring a state of emergency. So I don't know. I don't know how this is working. And is it because Ohio is Republican? Is is that the way we're playing this now? I I really, really, you know, they want to separate us every chance they get. They want to separate us. That's why the, the black national anthem was played at the Super Bowl. Now, I don't even recall. I, I did watch the Super Bowl this year because not because I was interested in football I'm I'm uh, I'm totally not anymore I was a 
I was a diehard football fan. I had season tickets to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but when they start taking knees for the country that I served all my adult life, uh, they could they could just forget it. They they don't need me to watch. But uh, the reason I did watch is because I thought there was going to be a massive terror attack. <laughs> The, the border's been open. There's all kinds of crap going on. Things are being shot out of our sky. And I thought there would be a massive terrorist attack. So, it was a good game, though. It was a very good game. Uh, very close, back and forth. Not, not a blowout like some of them were. <clears throat> well, I, I, I wanted to bring up this point that um, I'm teaching this class. You may have heard me talk about it next Wednesday. And if anybody else wants to get in on it, you can still get in. Uh, Alex says we can take up to 40 people without degradation of signal. And we tested it successfully last night with, with five people on. And it looked good, not choppy. So I think we got the internet thing figured out. But a person that's enrolled in the class, <coughs> uh, I'm not going to say her name or anything, but she is um, a member. So the member's price is $49. But she said, Can you send me an invoice for $75? Now, how about that? That's really something. So, I thank you. And you're, you're listening. I know you are. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, you really, really touched me. That was... Uh, you know, we're, we're not in this to make a million bucks. None of us is. <laughs> we're just helping people prepare. And that, that really was... You're going to get an extra special gift <laughs> everybody that signs up for the first class hey and I think we got 14 hosts I think we have 14 hosts in this class so if you want to see the hosts uh, get in this class okay PBN family I just wanted to check in tell you Carl B will be up at noon and uh, gosh you know, using East Palestine as a uh, an example, I have to really say, prep on, right? FEMA's not coming. FEMA's not going to bail you out. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to chuckle. They, they really, they're going to have problems for years to come. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about this uh, extensively in the class. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about this and the difference between, uh, you know, chemical agent and hazmat, you know, toxic material. Okay, PBN family, I'm almost to my appointment. Take care and by all means, prep on.